Well, can you believe it, church? Pastor John Ochoosen here. Good day. Are you ready to be discipled? Can you believe it? We have come to the end of our mini five-part series entitled Fishes. It's just phenomenal how time flies, isn't it? God is good. Yes, indeed, all the time. Right, so we're going to be finishing with uh, number five in our little mini-series. So why don't you turn to the book of Matthew, and we'll be reading chapter 28, and we'll read verse 19 today. Matthew chapter 28 and verse 19. Shall we pray? Father, we do pray that you will go before. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We pray for your illumination, your guidance, your teaching. In Jesus' name, amen. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28 and verse 19. See, as we continue on our pathway to spiritual maturity, we are called to make disciples. We are indeed, we are very clearly instructed to love God, to love others, and to make disciples. Matthew 22 verses 36 to 40 reads as follows, Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Right, so we, we started off, you need to, you clearly need to make disciples. And quite clearly from scripture, we need to love God and love others. And then obviously then make disciples. It seems to be a simple task, doesn't it? Love God and then extend his love to others. How? How do we do that? Well, through the Holy Spirit who's been given to us through Jesus, right? How do we love others? Through the Holy Spirit who's been given to us through Jesus. We need to spend intentional time with others and then repeat the process. And the most crucial discipleship relationship we can start begins where? Indeed at home. Too often our day begins on Facebook, on email or text messaging and the screen time addiction begins way too soon, doesn't it? The most crucial discipleship relationship we can start with Parents begins at home. Then stepping into a group maybe. Or, or, or perhaps even jumping out in bold faith to lead a small group. Grows our faith exponentially as well as that of the family when we lead by example. Don't think your children are not watching you, dad, mom. They watch you far more than what you say. Together, we can build stronger, faithful families. When we do this, when we center ourselves in Jesus Christ and we share his message intentionally, not just by mistake or perhaps, I can guarantee you the Holy Spirit will fill you in wonderful rare ways as you draw, draw nearer to him, church. And so as we've gone through this five-part series, I trust that you've been challenged to realize that you indeed are to be a fisher of men. It's time to step out. It's time, church, to step out, to be bold, and to go on your mission. Are you ready? I'm going to leave and finish this series with some real chewy bolt on. Are you willing to invest 
in two individuals' lives. Just two. And then, mom or dad, are you willing to begin a discipleship relationship with your children? And so I'd like to challenge us as I close this little mini-series. As a church, I challenge you to develop at least two intentional relationships during the course of the remainder of 2020. Just two. That's all. Two intentional relationships. All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Now therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. God make his face shine upon you. Amen and amen.